Hello there and welcome to Adicraft. Today we saw the first snapshot from 1.19, the wild update. And today I'm going to show you all of the new blocks and some fantastic build ideas. So don't go anywhere. First of the blocks, we have the mangrove tree and the mangrove logs. Now the mangrove tree itself isn't actually in the game quite yet, but they have put the blocks in so we can have a look at these. First of all, we've got the mangrove log that has a very, very bright red interior with a very br nice brown exterior that's kind of similar in its texture to the stripy nature of the jungle tree. When we have the stripped variants of this, again, it's a lovely warm texture and, and actually it's really nice to have a, a block that's the first kind of red wood block because we did have the crimson block but that was a little bit pink for my liking and a bit too purpley as well so what we've got here is obviously something that's got shades of orange and shades of red in there and should go really really well uh, with other warm textures so this comes in the plank stair and slab variety we've also got these really interesting new mangrove roots and these also come with a muddy mangrove root variety to kind of link them to the ground. And these are interesting because they're the first non-leaf block that has this kind of transparency. So this could be used for something like a dead tree or something like that, just to give a slightly different look from the regular leaves. And speaking of leaves, we have a brand new leaf type with the mangrove leaves. These also look fantastic. They're a little bit darker than some of the leaves in patches, and they've just got a very distinctive texture going on. So I'm really liking those. We have the mangrove propagule, which is the way that you will grow these. Now this can be bone milled off the actual mangrove leaves and will then be planted in the ground like a sapling and can be bone milled to grow it and this is what all mangrove trees grow from moving on to the rest of the blocks we've got the doors now these doors i think are an absolutely fantastic addition i'm so glad that we've got another full door like this that's got a really nice texture on it and this i could see is perfect on something like a hobbit hole which is in fact something I plan on building in the future. Now we've also got these awesome trapdoors and these have got quite a windowy look, again, matching in with a kind of hobbity look. So these would be great for, for that, but also the, that texture that you can see right the way through, like some of the other tra uh, trapdoor types. Moving on to the mangrove fence and the mangrove fence gate. These are just pretty much similar to the, the wood. And we've got all of the other things. The mangrove signs particularly are gonna be really, really good for decoration, I would think, as will these mangrove buttons, just having something that's got on a nice bright splash of color. To round out the options, we've also got the mangrove boat. Moving on, we've got the mud and the packed mud blocks. Now the packed mud is a really, really nice block and this could be used for some great paths and also some building as well. It's got a really interesting texture. But this mud, the wet version, I absolutely love this texture. The colors in it are really, really good. And this, as you'll see later on, will go with some of the other blocks that don't really get used as much. So it's great when Mojang gives us new options that allow us to mix this up with blocks that aren't used as much as they should be. Moving on, we can craft these mud blocks into the mud bricks, mud brick stairs, mud brick slabs, and the mud brick walls. This is another brilliant addition because there has been a real lack in the game of a lighter stone type. Uh, you've got the end stone, which is very, very yellowy green. You've got the sandstone, which is very light. There's not been a mid tone and this will be so, so good for building a variety of different things in the game. And I can't, I can't actually wait to use this. Then we've got something else, which is fantastic news. Three new light blocks we have here. We've got the ochre, pearlescent, and Vedant frog blocks, uh, frog lights rather. And these are also really useful because if I just pick one of these up now, you'll see that if I place it here, you've got this texture on the top and a different texture on the sides, but these are directional. So you can actually make use of the fact that the textures are different and place these in different directions to get a slightly different look which isn't really something we can do with light blocks at the moment. So that is going to be really, really good experimenting with these. And the fact that there's three new colors, but they've all got quite a light hue to them. It means that these will be uh, similar to the sea lanterns and the applications for these will be massive in the game, just having these new light blocks. Moving on, we've got some really interesting blocks to look at. We've got the Skulk Shrieker, the Skulk Catalyst, the Skulk Sensor, the skulk block and then the skulk vein 
and these obviously come from the deep dark but some of these have got some really lovely animated textures so as you see here you've got the kind of soft glowing look here which will be brilliant for building you've got the moving here of the skulk sensor and then you've got these souls circling around this is just such a visually beautiful block the skulk shrieker uh, so those are going to be the applications that we'll get for those in building will be really interesting as well Rounding out the additions, we've got the new frogs. These look absolutely awesome. The animations are great and they've just got such personality. And obviously these will come in different varieties depending on whether it's a cold, a tempera or a warm climate. Then these come from tadpoles and these will be great swimming around in bases and things. It would be great if we could lock them in tad tadpole form because they would be awesome in aquariums, but unfortunately not. They'll probably grow into frogs. Uh, these can be caught in a bucket as well, a bucket of tadpoles. And you also get the frog spawn, which can be placed on top of water, and that's placed in the same way that you place a vine, or it can be placed at the moment uh, like a, a skulk vein. That's looked at the blocks themselves, but now let's take a look at some of the possibilities that we can have with these new blocks when it comes to building. And the first one is obviously using this mangrove wood and it looks absolutely fantastic with the birch. You've got a brilliant combination of the lighter yellowy wood with the lovely warm colours that you get from that mangrove wood and also just the, the nice bark around it as well gives a nice touch. If you wanted something that was quite quite swampy, kind of a, a more wild thing that you could look at, again you can use the bark and the bright colours. It goes really really well with the dripstone and here we've got one of the new frog-like blocks in the middle. This is the pearlescent one. And then we've got this, which is the, the rooted mud. The mud, um, I forget what it's called. Let's have a look. Uh, muddy mangrove roots. And so actually that can work as a decorative block as well. And again, this, like the lights, is a directional block. So you can place this down and then you can place into that, which can make some quite interesting patterns with the roots themselves. And I, I would gather that this would probably be what they'd use for making some of the uh, the tree roots swell in the ground so that it's not just all going one way. Moving on from those, again using the wood, this with any of the warm tones that we've got in the game, so things like the bone blocks, looks absolutely fantastic. And if you're interested in understanding a bit more about what warm tones are and the colour theory, there is actually a video on my channel that shows you about that. Uh, so if you look at the building 101, playlist you'll be able to see all about that then this is where it gets really exciting for me again using a third in three of the different frog lights but actually getting a chance to use end stone bricks for once these end stone bricks do go really really well with these mud bricks and i'm really pleased about this because end stone is something that just gets criminally underused because it doesn't have that many things that you can combine it with not many builds are going to be using purple uh, and therefore the purple has limited uses so actually getting a block that can work well with this uh, with these end stone bricks in the form of these mud blocks uh, these mud bricks rather is going to be fantastic now another great thing that we can do using this which is the new mud block and some of these new frog lights is get a real industrial look this would look brilliant in any steampunk or dystopian type base just the, these lights they just look a little bit messed up they look a little bit um, a, a little bit less clean than some of the other lighting sources and with this again one of the lesser used the waxed weathered copper this again gives another opportunity to use this to its fullest potential and moving on again back to these pearlescent blocks again you can see they've got a little purple around the edge and this gives us an opportunity to actually use them with the copper again just the regular copper and actually use these with the purple so the purple and the copper go really quite well together if you mix in just a little bit of the calcite here you can get a lighter tone in there and you can get some really, really quite interesting patterns going on with these new blocks. Speaking of some interesting patterns, we have here the first use of the skulk. And now this skulk can be mixed with a number of other blocks actually in the game. So you've got the sea lanterns that go very well with them. They actually go quite well with diamond blocks as well. Uh, and the prismarine as well. The way that you've got the animation here with the glowing 
uh, and also the animation with the color changing in the prismarine it really really complements each other the two different blocks together when you put that with some warp nylium that can just give you that little extra texture now for a really really interesting look you can actually start using these skulk shriekers and these shriekers are half a block tall exactly so you've got the the box here that covers the top but when you walk on these these are actually half a block tall so there's no reason that you couldn't embed these into your block palette if you were doing a um, just a slabbed floor and that gives you something that's a lot more visually interesting but also doesn't impact you walking when you're walking around in these areas and I've just matched these with some of the deep slate tiles which are a great block again using some of the end stone and the prismarine and they all match really really well so that's another option that you can have with those blocks now looking at some wall textures and this is probably my favorite block actually that's come through here this mud it works brilliantly with the cyan terracotta here and also with the polished basalt just to give you something that's a bit more interesting then moving along here we've got again a really useful way to get your exposed copper and use that with the mud bricks uh, just the textures work really really well and those work well with the stripped dark oak logs as well moving on another use for a block that we haven't been able to really use before the netherrack finally has something that you can put it with that doesn't look absolutely ridiculous so this new block here the mangrove planks is really really good as is the stripped mangrove log to go with this netherrack the tones work really well with that so actually all that netherrack we've been throwing away finally might have a use and again another one of these blocks the end stone and the end stone bricks here i've made these lovely little columns so actually if you stack these blocks with your skulk catalyst your skulk and then your skulk shrieker on top you can make these nice looking columns and particularly if you could look down on this from a, like above uh, these have got that lovely texture on the top but actually when you when you work with these you could just put as many of these um, these skulk blocks in the middle as you wanted to make your pillars as high as you needed them to be going back to the mud block we have here obviously you need to be pretty rich for this wall but you've got the netherite which actually works as a nice partition between this and the smooth basalt um, and yeah that is that's pretty much a flex on your friends but if you've got if you've got the time and if you've created enough of the netherite then you can can really do that and that works nicely and here again we've got some of the deep slate so this isn't the cobbled deep slate just the regular deep slate and that works nicely with the basalt the regular basalt that is and also again with this clay block this mud block rather and i really like that coming on to the last couple of these you can make your walls a bit more interesting as you've got now another option for a way to add some visibility through your walls and that is using these the mangrove roots and when you mix these in with the mangrove logs and actually the jungle works really quite well with this as well uh, you've got a nice match but not too similar and then these little portholes in here can kind of add a little bit of depth to your walls as well and then coming along some more of the mud but mixing in some pillars that are using the muddy mangrove roots and then the gray concrete is a, again a nearly perfect match for this block this is such a diverse block and can be used for so many things that yeah i'm going to be farming this for sure before we move on let me know in the comments what your favorite block that you've seen so far is and which of these your favorite idea is and if you're enjoying the video hit that like button as it really helps the channel also make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content and now we come to the final part some of the build combinations that i've put together so obviously I haven't had that long with these blocks uh, but there are some really really nice combinations with the jungle wood and all of the uh, all of the mud varieties the mud brick varieties and using some uh, some of the roots as well in some interesting ways so you can make yourself some quite nice looking uh, some nice looking lamps again using the mangrove wood that goes quite well with the netherrack so you can get a combination of the walls and the fences whenever you can get walls and fences together 
that look similar, it's always a big win. And here is another example where we've got the sandstone walls, the birch fences, and now we've got a frog light that can go on top of it. So again, this is a different color frog light this time. That one's the pearlescent. This one is the ochre frog light. Here, this new skulk catalyst block, uh, this is a brilliant lampshade. Um, wouldn't normally be what I would think, but it's also got quite a nice underneath texture as well. And then if you wanted something a little bit grander, you can use some of the other skulk blocks and create something that's a bit darker and a bit more menacing. Going a bit more left field, if you wanted a really interesting sofa design, you can start integrating some of these mangrove roots. Uh, and then obviously you can go traditional, again, using the combination of the birch and these new mangrove woods. And also using something like this, it's a nice little design for a sofa in a living room. A bit more interesting than just using one color and these new end stone bricks um, or these new uh, mud bricks rather work really well with the end stone and also the spruce. Then you've got various little table designs that you can use using the copper and these make quite interesting tabletops. Using this same idea for these pillars, they would make a great little bed. And also you can get now something that goes nicely with the red beds here for the mangrove woods. So that will look great. One of the most interesting and exciting things though, is looking at these skulk blocks is using these for a ceiling. So if you had these, and if you imagine having a massive cave, and just having the entire ceiling covered in these skulk blocks. How amazing would that look, like a starry sky? So I just created a little little base here. It just looks like a normal little base, but then as soon as you look up, wow. So those are a really, really great use for those new blocks. And then here, quite a simple looking uh, surround for a fireplace, but actually the quartz, because it's a warm texture, goes really, really well with these new mud blocks. And then in the back of the fire, I've just used some of the uh, the mud as well, just the regular mud and obviously the mud bricks going around here. And then finally, the pièce de résistance. The main thing that I thought when I saw these blocks is you can finally get a nice wooden texture that you can build yourself a proper one of those red barns. So yeah, really, really happy with this. If anybody would like to see me turn this into a tutorial, then do let me know in the comments. Uh, other than that, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time on AD Craft.